Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let us talk some boxing. So I'm about to give a big shout out to ES News, ES News Reporting. And who is this gentleman here? Who is this guy? Isn't he not the president of Rock Nation? What on earth is he doing shaking Battle Jack's hand? Look, doesn't he look like this guy here? Isn't this the president of Rock Nation? What is going on? So, again, here is this gentleman. He's the president of Rock Nation. And we just saw what looked like him, at least, in the present video we just saw with Badu Jack, who's being interviewed in Mayweather's boxing gym is a part of Mayweather Promotions. What would Rock Nation be doing associated with Mayweather Promotions? Right? I mean, isn't this the guy we're seeing all the time? Right? Well, it just so happens that the president of Rock Nation, his name is Michael R. Yormack. Okay? As you can see here, he says he's president, chief, and branding and strategy for Rock Nation. However, Michael R. Yormack has a brother. His name is Brent, Brett Yormack. And Brett Yormack happens to be the CEO of the Brooklyn Nets as well as the CEO for the Barclay Center. And if you do know, Badu Jack, he's going to be actually facing James DeGale at the Barclay Center. So when we saw Badu Jack shake the hand of the gentleman you were looking at. He was shaking the hand of the twin brother of Rock Nation's president, Michael Yormack. So Michael has a twin brother, which name is Brett, and it was Brett you saw shaking his hand in Mayweather Boxing Gym. So the mystery is now unfurled. No, it's not Rock Nation that's doing a deal with Mayweather Promotions somewhere off the cuff that has to do with Battle Jack. No, it's actually the CEO of the Barclays making some uh, negotiations possibly with Mayweather Promotions, finalizing certain things. And so he shakes Battle Jack's hand in the process as he's leaving. So I thought it was so intriguing to know that there are twin brothers working in the same industry and uh because the Barclays center is is the you know basically the venue for boxing uh not so much madison square garden anymore and also what was very interesting is to see that in the boxing world there are a lot of interrelated people there's actually family members not only with the boxers but also people in management you know for instance kathy duva is lou duva's uh, re relation Okay, so it's a small world in boxing. The boxing world is kind of small when you get to the top levels. And the top people actually working in boxing in some way or some shape or form are related to one another. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. You have a great day now.